So here we have our ESP32 prog at the bottom and our ESP32 board at the top wired together. And this is the wiring diagram, which is also in the links. So once you've wired those together, we need to write some code. So here we've just got a simple hello world. And then if we select our board, which I've used recently, it's here in the list. You can also use board manager to find it. And then as you can see, we've got some code in separate INO files as normal. And then we need to go and select our programmer. So if you go to the vMicro menu and then go to uploader, which is easier to access on the toolbar as shown here. So if we go to the hardware programmer and we select the ESP32 prog in this case, however, you can see there's a variety of programmers and these will change depending on which board you've got selected. So now we've done that, we need to go and check our drivers. So the USB serial converter shown here and COM36 are actually our programmer and the Silicon Labs COM51 is the normal serial port on our board. So if we open the Zadig tool and then check list all devices, we can select interface naught of our dual RS232 board, which is the programmer again and then check the driver matches, which as you can see here, it doesn't. So we need to click replace driver and this can take a minute or two to install. So we'll just skip through that. And there we go, it's installed successfully. So now they match as you can see in the boxes. So we can close that. And now all we need to do is select our serial port. And this is from the board at the moment. We'll show how to use the one on the programmer in another video. And this is just so we can see our hello world coming out. So if we press build and upload, that will build as normal. And then at the end of the process, we'll see the output for the programmer running. And with the ESP32, it does flash the bootloader as well. So everything will work as if you'd done the upload through serial. And there's three separate binaries for an ESP, which is why you see the three separate segments roll past. So if we open our serial port now, we can see our hello world streaming out, which shows our program has worked fine. So if you just follow the links in the description, there'll be more wiring diagrams and information about them.